Um, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Thursday. I'm not sure what the date is. I think it's the 25th or 26th of June 2024. It's coming up for 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't usually run at this hour of the morning, but I'm doing it because I just took my car in for service. And uh, I might as well, I've got to get home, so I thought I might as well run home. I'm up here on the Hume Highway. I'm going to get caught in all the traffic now, of course. I'm going to cross these roads. There's a highway. On the right hand side here is the Workers' Arena. It's the home ground of the local rugby league team, supported by the Goulburn Workers Club. Also the home of local hockey. And behind it is uh, a place where you can do laser tag and a place where the air cadets used to meet. The side of the road that I'm on is mostly residential. It's further up the road here it becomes uh, light industrial. Head on the right hand side, there is the another car yard, Chrysler Motors. They used to be down in the main street where Target is now. There used to be a Holden dealership, there's no Holdens to sell anymore, of course. So now they sell Hyundai, Subaru, and LDV. These buildings on the right hand side and the ones coming up on the left hand side are all part of what used to be a big wool trade and wool sales in Goulburn. Goulburn is a, a big wool growing centre and at one stage we used to have auctions here 
we're almost from all over the world who come to Goulburn and bid on bales of fine merino wool which were sold at auctions in these buildings on either side. Several decades ago, all, of, all the sales were centralised at a place called Yonora in southwestern Sydney, and the buildings were all just empty. Now, as far as I know, a little bit further down here, as I said, the light industrial and sort of rendering and storage facilities tire places bottom of the street here, this is a thin way right at the bottom of the street on the right hand side there, some new uh, building being put up, I don't know what it's for but it's a for sale sign on, on it, that area used to be the Goulburn sale yards where they uh, would conduct livestock sales for sheep and cattle, and I assume they don't do that anymore. Maybe the livestock you sold directly from the farm, I'm not sure. Uh, at the bottom of the street, I make a left hand turn on Sloan Street, head back towards uh, the CBD. You might be able to see that white writing, it says Goulburn Railway Workshops. Goulburn used to once be a big, big centre of the railway. A lot of people in Goulburn who worked on the railways. Drivers, guards, uh, people on the trains and the people who did the repair work for the trains and so on. Over time for a variety of reasons, I guess to do with more people owning cars, the cars being more reliable and going longer distances easily, and just a general lack of interest in rail, uh, and railway was way on down. Lots of people either lost their jobs or moved to other areas. We used to have the XPT repair workshops here until several elections ago when the government thought the seat of Goulburn was secure for the Liberal National Party member at the time and they moved it to Orange which I think helped them to secure that seat. I'm going to stop recording for a while and come back when I get to uh, Belmore Park, which is a couple of k's away yet. I'm just crossing Montague Street, entering Belmore Park. About halfway up Montague Street, 
on the left hand side as I'm running is a very impressive golden courthouse uh, and in front of that in Auburn Street the post office Belmore Park is probably Goldwyn's premier park uh, bounded by Montague Street, Sloan Street, Market Street and Auburn Street and you'll find in here lots of things that tell you about the history of Goulburn from war memorials to trees that were planted to commemorate various things including this really impressive oak tree it's called the Lady Belmore tree it was planted because Lady Belmore was the wife of the governor uh, at the time that the railways were open to Goulburn and the governor and his wife travelled by rail spent some time here obviously went back to Sydney she planted that tree and it's the same tree the rotunda which has just had a new roof put on it the Hollis fountain behind me there and the Norman column John Norman was a local businessman and a store called Norman's on the corner here where it's now the collector collective sadly it burned down in a fire he was also responsible for building the Fireside Inn which is behind his store and was a restaurant for many years it have been closed for a good few years now well, thank you for watching that's my very brief tour of parts of Goulburn not much more to see now this is Auburn Street not much more to tell you about so I'm going to stop recording and just hope I can make my way home thank you for watching hope you enjoy the scenery in the commentary